All right, here's a look at what's going on. You'll see some storms rolling off the mountains here into the valley. We've seen a few, especially up in the heights like that one right there that came on through. Not a bad little storm that rolled through. Now it's gone going south of the city, but we do still have flood advisories. East central sections of the state here right now. As far as what's going on in the metro, our little storm, which you just saw, is now kicking through southern portions now of Bernalillo County. Now, one thing to watch for here, there's another storm up along I-25. Now, I think it's going to end up skipping to our west, but let's wait and see what happens here because if we encounter another little gust front here, this could at least get interesting again in the metro area. And as we look out across the north, scattered thunderstorms starting to become a little more widespread over the northern portion of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and south of Springer. Meanwhile, the front, which is plowing its way through eastern New Mexico, is delivering a punch as it does. Places like Vaughn and Fort Sumner now in the middle of this thing as it slides onto the south. Out ahead of it, we got a nice little gust front going. So you can usually tell you got some really gusty winds, and then the rain starts to roll its way on in. And that's what's happening across east central sections of the state. Out across the southwest, picking up some storms, especially southern Hidalgo County and southern portions of Luna County as well. West central sections of the state also grabbing a couple of storms around Black Rock and to the west of Grants at this point. Looking at a wider view and what we're getting here, not a bad storm day. Now this front, which is coming down, is just one of a couple of fronts that's going to juice the atmosphere up here. So tonight, I think we'll get some gusty east winds in the metro area, setting the table for some storms possibly tonight, and then a better crop, I think, tomorrow as this thing gets all the way set across the state, puts the juice in place. We add the heat of the day and crank up the storms tomorrow. 76 degrees in the metro. Winds out of the south at 14. Meanwhile, across the north, temperatures in the 60s and 70s down to the south 70s and 80s. Looking at satellite and radar, very clearly this is our front. We've got another one coming in tomorrow night into Wednesday, so we're definitely not done yet. Widespread storms are going to be a real possibility tomorrow as the juice is in place here, and then we get another cold front that rolls its way on through and adds more moisture to the mix on Wednesday. So Wednesday is going to be a very active day. Now eventually this starts to change. High pressure is going to try to edge in our direction late Thursday into Friday. As it does, slowly the moisture will be eroded and by the time we hit the weekend, we're going to see fewer storms and more heat. So enjoy the chance to get showers at least for the next three to four days before things start to change really I think over the weekend here and what makes this situation unique that we've got in place first of all is we continue with this parade of cold fronts which for this time of year is not all that common we should have the monsoon flow in place but that's really not what this is this is a series of cold fronts which are putting the juice in place now what we're going to do is roll a weather disturbance or two over the top of this the question is what track will these take we're not going to have an armada of three storms coming in here to help but what we will see is an occasional Occasional weather disturbance roll over the top of the moisture in place and the track of this disturbance is key to figuring out who gets the heaviest rain and that's tough to do. So a lot of times you get a lot of emails where people say I want the rain at my house. Everybody else is getting it. Well, it's helpful if you're underneath one of these weather disturbances. That's where we're going to see some of the heaviest rain. We know this much. They're going to come into the northwestern portion of the state here late tomorrow into Wednesday and slide in across the state. So hopefully we're going to continue with the rain and avoid that flooding rain, but it is a possibility given some slow moving storms. 81 Pagosa Springs, 83 Durango and 86 in Cortez afternoon thunderstorms over the next few days. Meanwhile, across the northwest temperatures here, 80s and 90s with scattered afternoon storms continuing well in through the week across the southwest. Looks good here too for storms. 93 Deming, 92 in TRC and 80 out in Kamado over to the southeast. You guys are transitioning into a little more of a wet pattern. Get ready tonight because the storms will continue. Fort Sumner down into Roswell, Lovington as we plow that cold front across the east. Meanwhile, northeast looks good again for tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday to pick up showers each day. Same deal over the northern mountains where it looks like we'll stay wet with a shot at showers rolling through Friday. Meanwhile, out to the east mountains looks good here too. 86 Edgewood, 85 Cedar Crest and 85 in Sandia Park. Gusty winds later on tonight in the metro and then thunderstorms will be possible again for tomorrow. Could even grab a few overnight tonight and that shot rolls through at least Thursday before the drying and warming trend. A bunch more on Twitter at KRQB Mark. Sounds good, Mark. Thank you.